All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Trapping Jinx. Uh, gonna do a little trapping, beaver trapping. This will probably be my last beaver trapping episode of this season, season four. Uh, got some more videos that's gonna come out. Um, I don't want to reveal all my secrets like you guys guessing, but uh, definitely check in here and there. And uh, I'm gonna do some recap videos on my season. Um, and uh, just kind of share with you guys what kind of worked for me this year. I think that's probably what I'm going to look at next few episodes. But a recap on this. Uh, I got two beaver kind of areas or jobs, you call those, uh, where the beavers got to go. Uh, it's almost ADC type work. I mean, basically it is. And I do all my ADC stuff the same. I go in. I trap as hard as I can. Catch, catch them as quick as I can because they get educated and then they're harder to catch. Uh, on this video here, you're going to see some catches. I do have a catch or two on here. And then um, uh, you'll also see uh, some strategy on what I've been doing. So uh, it is a little windy today. I do apologize in advance. I'm just going to show you guys a few things that I'm working on. I'm just going to keep it kind of brief. So thanks for coming along and let's go check out what, what we have in store today. Pull day. Okay guys, I want to video this real quick. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. I do apologize. It's so warm. At 930, it's 70 degrees. And uh, we've got these real crazy cold fronts on the backs of these. It'll get down to 40 degrees tonight. So we're probably looking at some severe weather, but it is what it is, right? Anyways, uh, on these, I like to break a hole in the dam about three or four days probably about two three days before I get ready to finish I popped a hole here I can do that I can do that in my state so that's completely okay you want to check your state make sure but on these ADC jobs when, and when I get ready to wrap these up I poke a hole in that just to see what comes back through to repair it and it seems to work pretty good for me I look for tracks and you know these are untouched so we ended up catching five here all together uh, two adults and then three kids and I was originally thinking two to four and I always kind of go by the feed bed you know the, the larger the feed bed this one had a pretty good lodge back in here um, yeah that's just kind of how I gauge them I, I don't think there's any real scientific way of knowing exactly how many you have um, a buddy of mine and I we caught 20 out of one pond once and it, we knew that there was a bunch there, but we had no idea. It was not even like a, a two, maybe a, an acre and a half, two acre pond at the most. And we caught 20 beaver in that thing. And uh, yeah, comment down below what your theory is on how many you might have when you go into a new area. I just always kind of guess, but I just wanted to show you this little, these holes I pop, popped in the dam. And then I look for them to repair that. And I'll probably stop back by here in another week or so. And, it, you know, in about a week's time, if they repair that, then I know I got to go back to work. So it's just kind of a something that I kind of gauge. Let's go check the rest of the video. Like I said, I do have some catches on this video, so bear with me, guys. Well, folks, I took you to another creek system. This is a completely different spot. I, I caught some here in the fall. And I uh, dropped about a foot out on the dam because they just came back kind of thing. And I set one in there in the channel. We're going to check it out and see what we have. Okay, I'm kind of going by a hunch here, guys. But uh, I noticed the sticks are kind of messed up. Nice. Nice big beaver, guys. Nice big beaver. It's an adult. Nice beaver, can't beat that. So I'm gonna get that set back in that channel there. And uh, can't beat that. Having problems with my batteries, guys. I'm out of juice, but uh. Well, I got the trap back in there. It's underneath all these dive sticks in the channel. So it's a pretty good effective set. Okay, well I got him packed out. It's a really nice beaver. Uh, probably, uh, I'd say he's a good three year old, I assume. Um, comment in the section down below how old you think he is. He'll probably go, he'll probably, uh, two or three acts. He's probably, 
60 I assume 65 on the board probably around 65 on the board I assume so I don't know what a 65 inch beaver goes for <laughs> 60 65 anyways uh, on this creek here guys I got to get them out of here and the water was so high that I had to drop about a foot and I can't find their banked ends on this and this is another one of my properties I try to get all the beaver out of but this will probably be the last beaver in this season because my season by the time this will come out my season will be over in about two more days and uh but i'm gonna get all the beaver out of this creek here looks like well folks I think i'm gonna end the video here not a bad season i was able to get out and beaver trap for a week and a half at the end of the season and it is what it is i think i ended up catching about six all together on two different pieces so yeah helping some farmers out you know we had that flooded field and then this creek here was going to be flooded in a matter of time and the tube was brand new and that was where they were creating the dam so i always kind of like getting rid of the beaver out of those those spots because i feel like i'm doing a lot of a lot of good i think it, it we, we we do serve a good purpose as trappers so it doesn't make me feel bad when i have to harvest an animal especially in those situations so Hope you guys uh, picked up a few things. It was entertaining. Uh, it was a good season. Season four. This is the wrap up of that season. And uh, yeah. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Otherwise, click the big thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. I'm Jinx. And have a great day.